my boots go up almost about that high. Do I, do I risk it or what? You can take a risk. <laughs> I think I should risk it. I have an extra pair of socks anyway, so I figured, you know, and they're waterproof boots, so I don't know. I'd rather have my feet on firm footing than jump onto some rocks to see me. And we found a pirate. Here he is. Private Pirate Bay Yellow Belly IPA. There he is. There's your man. Prince Michael the First. Good morning everyone. It's Sunday morning. It's uh, almost nine o'clock. Today, what I'm going to be doing is taking the ferry over to those islands, the Salty Islands. It's, the weather is actually quite nice, so hopefully it won't be too rocky of a journey. It takes about a half an hour to sail over there, and then you have to jump off, and then we're gonna explore the islands of the Salties for the day, and then the return time is uh, 1 p.m. So we're gonna walk over towards the uh, the place where the ferry is and we'll see what that's like. So you can see we're, we're blessed with the weather. It's about a half hour drive from Wexford town to uh, Kilmore Key. You can see the boats in front of us, the docking points. We got a packed lunch, so we're gonna have lunch on the Salty Islands. Got a little rubbish bag to make sure we take everything away. It's always important to uh, have, take away your garbage with you, don't litter. So here's the, uh, the key part. And you can see there's the, uh, there's the uh, lifeboat and then there's the Salty Ferry. So you can see the, the place where we have to walk up on, where that yellow uh, gate is. So we're just gonna make our way towards there. Get on, I got some wet pants, so I'm gonna put them on because apparently the boat, it sprays a lot. Because um, it is a small boat. I think it holds 10, uh, 12 people. And they have ones at uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock and then you're there for about three hours and then you return. Um, so I'll leave the link up below in the description for the Salty Ferry. Here we are. Bring on board on. See the little red uh, dinghy? That's what you get onto the island. It gets you close and then you jump on from there. And uh, here we see. It's still early though. I wonder if this is a nine o'clock ferry. We'll find out. I'll turn off and see what the story is. So these are the boats that you take across. Salty Ferry. Owner Declan Bates. You can see in the distance. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but there is the boat that we'll be taking right there. Heading over to the Salty Islands. It's a beautiful day. You can see the sun's jumping out. So now I'm just going to take my friend Wyle. I'm going to show him the uh, memorial for the, the lost sailors and fishermen from Kilmore area. And if you want to see my other vlog of Kilmore Key, I have uh, the full details of the, the walk along the whole village. We went around so when I took the bus from uh, the local link from Wexford Town to uh, Kilmore Key and back in the same day. So just I'll have the link in the back so you can watch that one. But now I'm just gonna walk along here because we have about a 45 minutes to kill till our boat uh, leaves and we'll enjoy the beautiful scenery of Kilmore Key.
So now we're getting ready to head off towards Salty Islands. Right lads, uh, just get your names off you before you just board on board. So. Michael Thielen and Wael Asaka. What name is there it? There it is, Michael Phelan. Michael Phelan for two, yeah. Yep. You can go ahead there. Cheers. Good. Good stuff. Do we sit or stand? You can sit, no yeah. problem. Alrighty. <laughs> Bring home your rubbish. Yeah. It's a very good sign. Yeah. Best grammar. So it's going to be a wet landing, so he says we should take off our shoes and our socks. We don't get our feet soaked. How much is the water, did he say? Because my boots go up almost about that high. Do I, do I risk it or what? I think I should risk it. I have an extra pair of socks anyway, so I figured, you know, and they're waterproof boots, so I don't know. I'd rather have my feet on firm footing than jump onto some rocks and seaweed. I don't know. Yeah, there is a lot of bugs. I was talking before and I spoke, but Snug. <laughs> so guys, no bags on your back, leave them off your back, okay? Okay. Yeah, All right. And lads, you will have to take the shoes off yeah. unless you want to get your feet wet. So there's no tide in there. Oops. No, it's oh. Here's your man bringing us in. Fair play to him. It's the first trip out. Huh? No. First, trip first out. day out. Yeah, yeah. 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 This already a crowd of bird walking along. Okay. Excellent. Feet are dry. Success. Didn't have to take off my food, my shoes. Looking cold, careful well. See? Good old waterproof, waterproof my boots. <laughs> Not cold. So we're here till two o'clock, lads. We're gonna walk around, show you what's on the island. There's supposedly the puffins are here. We've seen a few seals there, but we'll see what we can see. First off, we'll let the lads fix their feet. We'll take a wander, and then we'll see if we see any pirates and some treasure. So here's what it looks like when you disembark. So we have to be here at. Uh, Two o'clock, so we have a good old afternoon ahead of us. Okay, we're going up these steps. These come right from the beach all the way up. And we'll explore around the island. There's a big marker at the top. We'll see what that says. It was a nice, they said a wet landing, but my feet were nice and dry. Thankful for the old boots, I didn't have to take them off. I was trying to take them off there, but it was too hard in the boat, so. The Neil family. So, for those of you who want to see some more information about, say, my, uh, Prince Michael, he has a tomb in Bano, so if you watch my, uh, 
Nano of the Collinstown vlog where I show you uh, the crypt of the family in Bano at the church. Here's the ruins of the old house here. It's a little damp here and there's a poor little rabbit. There's the puffins. Let's go back down this way. I'm gonna see how close I can go. That's pretty remarkable. Just in front of me, you see the nesting of the puffins. There's seagulls over there and puffins. And gnats, I think they're called. But those are the puffins over there. Whoa! Quicksand. Yeah, yeah, there are lots of rabbits, eh? Did you? So we'll go see what that post is and then we'll make our way to the left and then we'll go that way. It's a big island. Like, it goes on forever. You have to watch your feet there because tons of little rabbit holes and stuff. And it's very mossy so when you're stepping on it, your foot goes right through. You can twist an ankle here. That's why it's good having the uh, hiking boots. I recommend the hiking boots. Um, what's the best way to get there? Okay, let's see what this monument says. No state can be justified in encroachment on the, what is that, God-given rights of these salty islands. Oh. And there he is. There's your man, Prince Michael the First. There he is. There. So that's the monument. I made her go. Here's the throne. We found it. Quest achieved. Here's got to be the uh, thumbnail. 
Here, you want to hold this one? Very good. We found it. Yeah. So here's the throne. It's hard to read out. It's been scratched out a bit. But that's the throne right beside the monument there. And what a view. Give it a try. No one can blame me for crying when I'm without you, when I'm without you. Dreams of your own, sure you got places to go, but I just want you alone. Oh yeah, yeah. I know it's hard to be you, all the things you need to do, but baby, it's hard for me too. Oh yeah, yeah. Mayday, mayday. Is there anybody who can help me? I don't think my heart is working lately. Lately, I can hear it calling for you. Island, you know, it's sort of like a footpath made up by the people. But people haven't been here for the whole season. The season only opened up yesterday, so it looks like these footpaths are made by millions of bunny feet running on. Because you can see, all you see is rabbit holes and poop, and a few rabbits popping up. We saw the dead one on the footpath on the way in, so. In, this, in the summertime, the seals come here and then they mate and apparently there's about 20 or 30 pups born every year. There's about 120 to 40 seals come visit. And then we just keep walking on. We're gonna head to a point soon and we're gonna enjoy that beer, the pirate's beer, Iron Matey. And then we'll change the battery. I'd like to show the whole view of the whole island, but I'll have to do quite a bit of editing. But definitely worth your trip. Don't forget to comment on it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you who want to help support me, 
you can uh, I have a little link in the description for buying me a cup of coffee you know right now I'm not monetizing them wasn't expecting to be it takes about two years to be monetized I've only been at it for seven months now but you can support me by going on the link and buying a coffee Here's the beautiful views. Here's some more people up ahead. We'll go up, maybe we'll stop somewhere around here and have that can of beer, maybe a sandwich. I'm getting kind of hungry. And I don't know, maybe you stop along the wall. We'll see. See what YL wants to do. There's our friends from Wicklow Town. Did you see the uh, the throne? It's uh, you know where the the monument is? It's right beside it. You see it there. It's lovely though, eh? You have to watch your feet though with all these rabbit holes. So exactly, yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah. There's tons of rabbit holes. But it is a beautiful... I'd love to come here and camp for a day or two. Yeah, yeah. They don't allow it, but... Yeah. It's peaceful when it's weather like this, though. Well, do you want to sit in, on the wall and have our uh, pirate's beer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sit up, take a break, have something to eat. All right, so we're gonna take this part of the island. We're gonna have our little break right by the waves. And we found a pirate. Here he is, Private Pirate Bay Yellow Belly IPA. So here we are. We're gonna enjoy some pirate's beer on the pirate island. Whoa. Slancha. Slancha. There we go. Enjoy the, the fine beer. Actually, it's not bad. Nice one. Thumbs up for uh, the Yellow Belly beer. Now we're just going to have a uh, falafel wrap and some crisps. We're going to enjoy that and then we'll continue exploring the island. Okay, so that was the snack. The lunch done. Enjoyed the uh, Yellow Belly beer and uh, a wrap and now we're going to continue on our adventure around Salty Island. Now there's two Salty Islands and um, we're on the one that's on the right hand side if you're looking at it from Kilmore Key area. Right now there's about 30 people on the island Listen to sound. Wonder if the GoPro picks up all those. This is our cadets nesting.
He said to stay at least six meters away, so it's pretty cool though. Oh, yeah. Here, walking to the other side to this side one there, walking on it's like a plush carpet or you know, the feet just sink into it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be lovely to camp here, but you're not allowed to camp. It's only day trips. It's a private island yeah. owned by the family, the Neil family. So the only option is to do day trips via the Salty Ferry. Very hear the waves crashing in the back. Like I said, it couldn't have asked for a more peaceful day. The weather is good. It's not too hot. Not too cold, not windy. Because there is no amenities on the island. So you have to bring your own lunch of water and stuff and there's no toilets and there's nothing. So you're in with the nature for, till the boat collects you. So if you're coming on a trip, make sure you're dressed appropriately, have a backpack with snacks. Make sure you have a plastic bag to bring your rubbish out. You know, good idea to bring some toilet paper too, just in case. Here we're back on to the trail. That's used for. No, just this is inside of a house. Yeah, dead end. These are big round cylinder things. I wonder what they were used for. Probably to sit down and relax. That's what we'll try for a bit. Spiders? Mm -hmm. Or ants? Mm -hmm. Say 
white rocky island You and I on the trail Just us and the waves No need to behave In the heart See down there, that's the boat bringing a group that left at uh, nine o'clock. They're going back and they've got to come back, collect us at two o'clock. So goodbye for now. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and like. And don't forget to comment. Comment on if there's any place you want me to go and, and vlog next. Wexford or anywhere in Ireland. I'm up for suggestions. Now we're just gonna make our way back down to where the boat's gonna pick us up and uh, head back into Kilmorky.